In this video, we're going to see a simple way to bend objects in Blender. Let's select the default cube, go into edit mode, press A to select all the vertices, press S, X and write 10 to scale the cube in the X axis 10 times its original size. Now, we're going to need some extra geometry to be able to deform this object. Press Ctrl R and move the cursor to the cube until you see this yellow square shape. Turn the mouse wheel a couple of times to get extra subdivisions. Left click to apply the subdivision, right click to confirm without adding any displacement. If you want, you can use this window that appears right after applying the subdivisions to specify certain parameters. Let me give you an extra detail, unrelated to this video, but still very useful, which is to remove edge loops without losing the connection between faces. You can quickly select an edge loop by holding left alt and clicking on an edge. You can hold left shift, hold left alt and click on another edge to select more than one edge loop. We are going to dissolve these edge loops by pressing X and clicking on dissolve edges. Make sure to select only edges when dissolving, not faces like in this case. Now, let's return to our original purpose, which is to know how to quickly bend this object. We are going to use proportional editing by enabling this icon here. O is the shortcut key. You may want to explore some of these options, especially the connected only checkbox, which will make our transformation only affect vertices who are connected to those we have selected. So let's press left alt and select an edge loop. Press G to grab these vertices. Press Z to vertical constrain the movement axis. And now with the mouse wheel, you can determine the intensity of the proportional editing. You may also want to try other deformation patterns. Please subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video.